You knew it was coming. Grind those beans and pick your brewing method, because today, we're making coffee. Mmm, coffee. Last year, my friend Yas and I went to Ho Chi Minh, and one of our fondest memories was trying out different coffees around District 1, like this egg coffee, okay, mixing it all in. which surprised us. Was it a shot? It wasn't what I was expecting. In a good way. Yeah, I like it. And these iced coconut coffees that apparently blew my mind. So when I was thinking which one I wanted to recreate, the iced coconut coffee won. Not only because it's perfect for this hot summer weather, but it doesn't involve whisking. I'm so traumatized from that last one. Anywho, Ya sent me an extra Vietnamese coffee filter, and I'm kinda excited because I've never used one before. We'll run a little hot water first to warm this thing up, then we'll add a tablespoon of ground coffee. You can add more if you really want to feel the coffee in your soul. Push this thing in and add just a bit of hot water and allow the coffee to bloom. Mmm, I can smell the palpitations already. Add some more hot water, then cover and let it drip. And to get our coffee nice and cold, we'll be using this shaker, care of the only supporter of my non-existent Patreon account, Tim. As an alternative, and if you enjoy delayed gratification, you can also use a cold brew method. Just mix ground coffee and water in a French press and leave it in your fridge overnight. Feel free to enjoy some beer while you're at it. Thank God this liquor ban is over. Now that our coffee is prepared, let's get that out of the way and slaughter this baby coconut. Open up this baby coconut and harvest its juices. Whoops, and there goes half. Well, we'll put what's left into the fridge and make some ice. Put that coconut water ice into a blender, add 1 tablespoon coconut flakes, 1 third cup coconut cream or coconut milk, and 2 tablespoons condensed milk, and blend away. Finish with regular ice and blend some more until you get a nice slushy consistency. Ooh, like this. Then carefully pour that coconut slush into your coffee and then top it off with cacao powder or toasted coconut flakes. Or both. When you're done, find a nice comfy spot, relax, take a sip, and then say goodbye to sleep. Thanks again to Yas and Tim, and look, we have another supporter. Shout out to Jesse. Comment below how you usually like your coffee. I like mine cold, dark, and bitter, just like my soul. Kidding. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Bye.